Hello balloon artists. Spring has arrived, we've got lambs in the fields and today I'm going to show you how to make a balloon sheep. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks here in Derbyshire in the East Midlands, helping you take your balloon art to the next level. And to begin with, you're going to need a 260, I'm using lime green, and we're just going to make a flower petal base. So we're going to make some loops of about three to four fingers. Now, if you uh, need more detailed help on how to make the flower petal base, check out my how to make a balloon daisy video here, and I go through in more detail this stage of the design. So I'm making a six petal flower petal base. If you're more comfortable with five flower petals, that's fine. Just do whatever you are happiest with. So I've got my five, my six flower petals. I've got to break off the end and just wrap that in a few times. So that's nice and secure and then I can just arrange my flower petal base. Next, you're going to need some white five inch rounds and I'm just going to inflate them in pairs and just gonna round these off. So if you press these against yourself, you get a nice, a more rounded shape to your balloon. And I just want to let a little bit of air out of these. So I'm just gonna soften them a little bit. They don't have to be the same size. So just tie those together and then trim off the nozzles. And whilst you're here, remember to hit that subscribe button and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I do hope you'll give my video a thumbs up and feel free to join me in Balloon Artworks Academy, which is my closed Facebook group and I'll leave a link in the description below. Okay, so make some more duplets and just twist these together and then take another set of duplets and just twist those in. So we're making a nice full bodied sheep. So I think this is my fourth duplet, so eight five inch rounds in total so far. Okay, and there's our sheep's body. Next, take a white 260 and twist off a bubble that's about two to three fingers and then make another bubble to match. Bring these two together, hold on to the knot and nozzle there and twist, okay? And then use this nozzle to pinch twist. So if you just pull that through, that just pinch twists those. And then you can break this off and just tie a knot, okay? Set these aside. Take a 160 in black and mine's just got a two finger tail and then twist off a bubble of one to one and a half fingers and then make another one to match that. And as we did with the white 260, just bring those two together, twist, take that uh, neck and nozzle and just pull that through and that pinch twists those, okay? Take your eyeballs, you can trim off the excess here and just twist this directly into those two white pinch twists. Okay. So that's what you've got. And you can set this aside now. Next, take a six inch heart. I'm using blush, but for this design, I've also used pink. I've even used um, ivory. So, and just inflate, okay? So we want to inflate just so the lobes are starting to appear and then let the air out a little bit. Okay, so we want to we want this to be reasonably soft and I want to be able to squeeze some air up into the neck. So I, I just like to test before I do that, that I feel it's uh, sufficiently um, flexible to do that. So just pull that knot along to the end and then just squeeze the air up there and twist off a bubble. And then we want to grab hold of that knot, pull it down 
and then just wrap that round and that just pinch twists the neck of the uh, six inch hearts. Next, take those eyeballs that you prepared and just soften this part of the balloon here. And then take the head that you've just made and just wrap that directly into that pinch twisted heart, okay? You can just adjust those. And then I want to give that a stretch and I want to make two long ears, okay? So, wrap those into there. And then make another loop to match this one. Again, giving a stretch. And then just wrapping that directly into the sheep's head. So this is what you've got at the moment. Okay. Give everything a stretch. We want this part of the balloon to be really nice and soft. And take your sheep's body and pull the head directly into that cluster of five inch rounds. And just find somewhere where it just sits comfortably. There will be a spot where it just looks like it's comfortable. Pull that directly in and then lock that in place. So you want to lock a couple of balloons around this uh, 160 just so that everything stays in place. Okay. And then with what's left, we're going to make a big loop just pinch off the end and we're going to make a tail for our sheep. So just pull that round and just wrap that little tip into the sheep's body. And we can curl this down a little bit. Next, take your bit of grass and your another 160 black and just wrap that black into the flower petal base and then we want to make some small legs so maybe six fingers or six inches or so five six inches and then we want to wrap that directly into that cluster of five inch rounds and we're going to come back down and make another bubble in your black to match the first one so that we're making a second leg and then just go back up and make a third leg and just wrap that around the uh, five inch rounds in the body and then come back down and make one last leg. And then you can break this off and just wrap that 160 around several times into that flower petal base. Okay, and then we can just arrange our sheep because, <laughs> because he's kind of gone out of, uh, out of line a little bit. Okay. just rearrange him and with this design I do sometimes find that I want to add one more five inch round so I'm going to do that now just going to get another five inch inflate let the air out a little bit tie that off and it tends to be at the back here that I want to add another one just really I just think it just looks better um, tends to be better with an odd number. Just kind of fills in that back end a little bit. 
Okay, I'm just going to give a bit of shaping to these ears. And then all we need to do is draw the face, which is very, very simple. So I just draw two nostrils. And a big smile. And there you've got a cute sheep, which is great for adding to a piece of decor at this time of year. It's a great springtime design. If you've got a bunch of helium balloons going out and you add this as a base, people absolutely love it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Do remember to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos, which I publish on Tuesdays, and activate that notification bell. And please do give my video a thumbs up. I'd be really grateful. And I'll see you again in the next video.